Hello, and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Cave Story. Uh, let's see, last time we got everything ready to make the bomb to free Kazuya with Kazuya? Kaz I can't remember his name exactly. And oh my god, we got a monster bunny. Alright, and price we pay for missile upgrades. Oh jeez, that leveled me down, I'm not okay with that. We're just gonna dodge the best that we can here. Ooh, it's not the hardest fight in the game, but... It's usually unexpected and kind of scary the first time it happens, for sure. So, once again, I've played this game maybe too many times at this point. I don't know. But I just wanted to showcase it, etc., etc. Things I've all said before in previous videos repeatedly at this point. So, I won't totally drag down the video with yet another extended introduction. Okay. Ooh, all right. I know, I'm going in that door. Give me a second. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, execution chamber. Bam, dodged. And I fucked it up. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Let's just expedite this a little bit. There we go. Like that. And then we kill him. All is well. Help. That's how you do that. Maybe after I'm done with all these, I'll do a super cut of all the how to get health and everything sort of deals. So, that'd be kind of cool. And then I could do the background music and all the uh, OC remixes of this game. That would be really fun. I would enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, and if you... there, There is an OC remix project for this game, and it's pretty fucking spectacular. I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, it's probably one of the better, like, game... Single game focus OC remixes there are out there. And let's see... Yeah, that's right. You don't actually have to jump into a fan to go higher. You just have to hold down and jump. I remember that uh, off camera, I think. Whoa, okay, there we go. There's that. You can go over here and get some things, but we're maxed out on missiles, so there's no real need. Okay, that didn't quite work. You see what I was going for there, though? All right. There. Oh, so close. This is definitely one of the harder jumps in the game, in my opinion. Oh, jeez. But look at that, the cleanliness of that design, where even if you fail, you'll land on that one platform when you think you're going to die. Beautiful stuff. There we go. Alright, now we're going to go do this. And we got the gun base. Fantastic. That's the last little bit that we need in order to get the bomb. Hey, you again. Do you remember me? That's right, and Amiga didn't notice time. Aren't you that soldier from the service? Hmm, interesting. Everybody seems to know who we are, but we don't know who they are. Fun stuff. Is that so? <laughs> I like that. Oh, I can't fight him? Well, here you go. Transform into a frog. Croak. Okay. Oh. oh, that's right. His mouth has to be open. I'm a big dummy. I totally forgot. Again, I will profess my love for the absolute amazingness of the soundtrack. Even without the OC remix implied, I still think this is probably one of the best gaming soundtracks to ever come out of any game. Period. Indie or otherwise. Okay. Are we gonna... Are we gonna try to shoot at me again anytime soon here? That'd be great. Ah, I'm empty again. Okay, that was pointless. That's fine. I'm not at all concerned about dying here, though. Whoa! Okay, maybe I should be. That was unexpected. I forgot that part of the fight, clearly. Alright. So many frickin' frogs. Okay, why am I... The fuck was that all about? I did no damage. Alright, I might die. Sorry, it's embarrassing. Yep, I died. Okay. Yes, let's try that again. Yeah. 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 Alright. Whoa, all right. And there we go. Let's try this again, now remembering that I can only hurt him with his mouth open. That that will come in handy. All right. And also, clearing out frogs as they become available, or appear, that would also be good. There we go. Taking drinks from my tasty beverage while we skip text as much as we can and as fast as we can. Games should really come with, like, a textless version of their games for recordings and speedruns where you don't have to 
actually sit down and micromanage that kind of bullshit. Whoop. Okay, that cleared a path for us. Is that a good idea? This is not the worst idea, actually. I accidentally hit the bubble gun, and that was kind of a fun little discovery to have made. What? I definitely approve. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, Annihilation. Okay. Wait. Alright, I think I got this figured out. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Back to that. How many missiles? I got five missiles left. Well, we're probably going to get some back here. Yeah, just a few. And get back down over here. Not die. Beautiful. And just missile the hell out of him. And that's how you beat that guy. Beauteous. And... Balrog just yellowed out of there. That was, uh... Definitely a, uh, uh, brackets sick. There, there we go. And there we go. Awesome. Oh, no missiles. That's cool. Whatever. You took very little damage in that fight. Either that or we just picked up a whole lot of hearts I wasn't paying attention to. Either way, I feel pretty good about it. Okay. Then now we need to go back to our Robo... Malco... Ma Ma yeah, Malco... Uh, and get our bomb made. And all will be well. And we'll rescue Kazuma. Kill some more bats, I'm sure. Oh, jeez. Okay. And there we go. Ah, what's up? Oh, charcoal, jellyfish juice, gum base. Hooray! It is complete! We got us a bomb. Very much a nade looking bomb. Yeah, good times. Let's go ahead and get up here. We're going to save and recover really quick. Life and missiles refilled. Perfect. And get out of here. And... Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What's up? I know exactly what I'm doing. Bomb has been set. Yeah! Alright! You did well, boy. And there we go. Kazuma Sakamoto, please call me Kazuma. Luckily I was able to escape from the doctor, but then I was teleported here. Felt like I was about to die of total starvation. You're a real lifesaver. By the way, you heard of a place called Mamiga Village? Okay, here we go. We're just getting the plot taken care of here. Oh, hey, teleporter. Who's this dude? Is that you, Kazuma? Yes, somehow. And how Sue? Is she safe? Oh. Yeah, well, all right. No. Actually, we just met. Anyway, let's hurry and get to Sue's location. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's something these people aren't telling us. Why did I suddenly wake up in that cave out of nowhere? All right, then. I want you to come, too. Yeah, sure. No problem. Let us... Oh, of course. There's another safe spot right after we use the last one. And teleporter seems to be suspended. Okay, that's fine. I'm counting on you. Does that thing work? Ah, uh, here we go. All right, here comes the motorcycle riding part of the game. This is actually really tough. And uh, I'm actually a filthy liar. That's not part of the game. That's, they're just going to do that. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now we backtrack all the way back to the other teleporter, which is maybe a little bit annoying, but what can you do? Write a letter to Congress, why don't you? Like, you already do for SOPA, SIP, SUB, ACTA, SOAP, the net neutrality. Yeah, you, you, yeah, I hope you're doing that, by the way, because free internet would be great. Um, not like value-free, of course, but like an un corporately regulated internet would uh, be super ideal in all honesty. Okay. Alright. Ah! I don't, I don't like making this jump with that bat there. Okay. I did it anyways. Like a boss. We're gonna go this way. 
Uh, we're going to pick up more jellyfish juice before we leave here. Uh, because I'm pretty sure there's at least one more fire later on in the game where you're like, if you don't have it, you're real sad. And uh, it's a bad idea to pass up the opportunity to get whatever item it is that's there. I think it's, it's like not until the waterway. The waterway, way, way later on in the game that you have a fire that you can put out and good stuff happens. Okay. Love it. So great. Ah. Okay. Flubbing it up a little bit. I don't know. There's something about this one part of the game. I think this was like back when I first played it and forming my initial impressions of the game way back when. That was the first time that I really got like intimidated by what was going on just because there's so much going on and then there's the giant jellyfish and if you wake them up by accident that's usually a bad time and I, I don't know. That was ages ago. Ages and ages ago. Whoop. Yep. That's the uh, burning wreckage of something pink and motorcycle-like. So, yep. Teleport to Arthur's house. Hooray! We're weapons of death? Yes. Oh, the red flowers have you attacked the humans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's looking for the red flowers. Filled with rage, it turned into a weapon of death. I wonder if that has anything to do with the first boss that we fought that turned into a normal bunny afterwards. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Notably down in the lower right corner there are some red flowers. Or what's left of them. That's King, his leader of the village. And they've all been taken by the doctor. So there used to be tons of bunny people everywhere, and now they're all gone. Alright, let's go ahead. Recover and save. So, I am a compulsive saver. I know it's not necessarily necessary in this particular juncture, but in case I just die suddenly and do something terrible, then the setback won't be that bad, and the video will remain watchable. Uh, location of the red flowers. Uh oh. Matter of time before he does, they're in the sand zone. Must locate the red flowers, sand zone, yada yada, so on. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I forgot how much text there is in this game. Okay. There we go. Once again, if you want to get really involved in the uh, story, then uh, I definitely suggest you pick up the game. Uh, I, I haven't really decided, especially with like commentary videos like the ones that I produce, where if you've got a storyline going on and somebody talking over it, yeah, it's going to suck. It's going to be not nearly... Uh-oh, who is that? They look kind of similar to my character. Uh, if you're really looking for the storyline, you should play it on your own. I think any... Uh, I, I mean, I definitely, I, I can't personally stand trying to get into the storyline of a game with somebody commenting over it, and I don't choose to watch those videos. But, I mean, at the same time, I also am very, very insistent upon playing through games like this. Like, I know there's tons and tons of Dark Souls 2 videos out now, and I want to watch it because I like the commentators, but I want to experience the storyline first. And I don't like the idea of watching somebody's commentary on the game while they go through the story for the first time when I could be experiencing that as well on my own. But that's a that's a totally side note. Man, I'm freaking digging this remix here. Wine glass, I don't know why. Ah! Uh, hey! Look, a visitor after such a long time. I know what you do, what to do. You better wake up. Uh, the enemy, they're totally harmless. On the Amiga side, I'm gonna, not going to lose to you. Okay, so this is actually pretty annoyingly difficult fight if you don't do it right oh geez like that that's that was the not right way to do it okay okay good grief okay jump and dodge there we go fire does much more damage and Oh, okay, that was close. There we go. Beat her. You won! Hooray!
You got me. We've been defeated. No. Why would I want to kill cute bunny people? I'm Curly Brace. Want to trade it for my machine gun? No. Why would I want a machine gun? That's stupid. Uh... Actually, in case... No. No. Okay. And... So, yeah. Just to explain what's going on there and why I said no. Uh, you can get the machine gun, and it's a really good weapon. It does tons of damage. Plus, it also makes you kind of levitate-y. Uh, also, real quick. There's a secret here. Where am I? There we go. That's what I wanted. And I'm doing jump echolocation here. And there we go. So, there you go. That's, uh, yeah, there's a secret. That's a thing you can do in this game. And there's that. Fantastic. And so, yeah, you can get the machine gun, and it helps you in your maneuverability and your ability to get around levels and actually makes the game a great deal easier. Uh, but if you hold on to your pole star, it gets upgraded to its final form later on in the game, and uh, that's pretty rock and roll. I much prefer that gun. Plus, yeah, uh, again, play this game so much, I don't really need the extra maneuverability to get around the game. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's... Uh, I forgot they do that. That's really annoying. So, yeah, right after saying, oh, I played the game a million times, I'm, I'm fine. I forget something as integral as that happening. That's uh, pretty embarrassing, but, you know, whatever. That's what I get from my hubris. Uh, there we go. That's life. Muteus. Now, I do remember the stupid alligator thing. So before you're like, we'll wait for it. Is he going to die to the alligator things? No, I'm not. I'm going to jump over that sand. I'll probably try to kill him later, but not at the moment. Not in the mood. Oh, there it is. Okay. In case you were wondering what I meant by alligator things. I guess they're more of a dragon-y sort of guy, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's do this. As long as you keep moving, they can't really catch you, so that's cool. Uh, anything not maxed out other than my pole star. No, cool. Pole star is totally, totally another word for stripper. I'm sorry, I had to say it. It was, it was, I'm like, what is that? It makes me think of something, and then I finally thought it, like, two videos ago, and I was like, no, don't say it on the video, don't. But it's been eaten at me. I just had to... I had to get a little sophomoric with my humor, alright? Look, I try to be as professional as possible, but sometimes you just, you gotta point out the obvious. It's, you know, it's like a that's what she said joke. Once you've done one, you can't ever stop. And, uh, sophomoric humor is definitely that. Till the end of time. So, whoa, jeez. And that was sort of poorly played there, but whatever. We'll get back up to level three with no problem. There we are. This was my favorite song in the OC Remix uh, version of this game's soundtrack. Ah, Jesus Christ, that was bad. Okay. Alright, well, we did some damage to him. I'm sure he'll totally regret trying to eat me. Um, there we go. And doesn't really matter what level this gun is at. I think missiles and fireballs are going to be the ideal weapon combination versus the next boss. So that's not a big deal. But this is a little bit of slow going. I could take the easy way out, but I keep losing my weapon level and then wanting to get it back. So that's what's kind of taking so long here. I'm getting a little more grindy than I should be, especially for a side-scrolling action shooter. Um, I, I totally am aware. So I can't remember if this is a trap or the other one's a trap or if they're both a trap. No, looks like that's probably fine, but I'm not getting in that other one. I remember bad things happening. Okay. They've got the, the, the super deadly guys here. And we can... Oh, what the fuck? That was interesting. Oh, I hit, like, some kind of secret thing there. I'm not exactly sure what that sound in it was indicating, but uh, there was some sort of secret involved, so that's cool. And, yep, here we go. We're at the boss. Let's see if I can remember how to fight him. Uh... Oh, it's Misery. Misery's not the boss, though. Bit troublesome. You want to take me on? Oh, what's that? Oh, it doesn't seem like it'll be necessary. Bye now! So we got this guy. Ah, I missed! 
Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Uh, I did a little bit of damage. It wasn't really what I wanted to do, though. How about we just stick with this here? Apparently, if you try to do anything uh, missile-related, then he just closes up immediately. So, that's less than ideal. Or I could be totally wrong. That's also a possibility. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, as soon as he gets hit with a missile, he just moves on. So, let's try something a little different here. Alright. Okay. Not too bad. Doing alright. I wonder if maybe it was actually not the missiles necessarily, but the damage involved. That could also be a possibility. Otherwise, this boss isn't too terribly hard. Just very avoidy. I've been getting hit very little. I'm very proud of myself. Horn tooted and all. Minor E-mania. And the boss is done. And so is this episode. So, yeah. You defeated Omega. Hooray! Curse on the Sunstone is lifted. I wonder what that can mean. We'll find out next time on Cardboard Decoy Plays Cave Story. But no, seriously, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some suggestions for other games to play, since uh, I don't want to... I, I, I definitely... I'm not saying like this game is bad or I'm getting tired of it. God, no. But this is just sort of a general outcry for... Uh, yeah, suggestions in general. Uh, because otherwise I'll go right back to playing the procedurally generated uh, murder pits. And, you know, those can only be watched for so long. I understand that. And, uh, but I will play them. I will play them to death at 20 minutes a time. And there will be videos for months and months on this channel of just that. So, uh, what can I say? I'm being honest. And, uh, so yeah. I will see you next time. Have fun.